Hello once again our most valued student my name is Confident and welcome to the second section of our session actually of this lesson where I am looking at statistics and remember guys subscribe right now so that you can be notified every time I'm posting some new videos if you're not subscribing you are not doing yourself justice remember you're going to meet a, miss a lot of content and I'm making this channel mainly for you to prepare for your final exams now I'm continuing in the previous lesson we did look at this question it says consider the following data so it was given there and then says calculate now the following now in the previous lesson we looked already I'm gonna scratch it out we have done um, the mean we have done the mode we have done the range so we are left with the other parts now that's what I want to focus on let's look at the question now. I want to look at the median and that's what we're going to start with how do you find the median if we are looking at this data the first thing i said when you're given a data like this you can see that it is mixed up it is not grouped you need to group it but the way you're going to group it you need to rearrange it and ensure that you arrange it into ascending order meaning from the smallest number to the biggest number so after you have arranged it it looks like this um, if you remember we did this so this is what you have now how do you find the median the median now as, as the word said is the middle number the center number there are two ways uh, of finding the uh, the median I'll say the first one let's use a simple um, kind of trial and error in a way not really trial and error but something like that to say if I arrange this data to say this is number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteenth don't forget how you write it so it's the first the second the third the fourth like that the fifth the sixth number so that's what it means the seventh number and so on you see and then the tenth number the fifteenth and so on so we've got 16 numbers here if I want to find the middle the center number so what you're doing is you're like okay from 16 if I start from the left start from here going this direction and I start from here going this direction where is my center so you're going to count one on the one here and one there two there and two there three there and three there four there and four there you see five there and five there six and six remember i'm going to the middle seven and seven now i'm caught up between these two eight and eight so now what do i do at this stage for me to find the middle number it means it will be in between 4 and 4 but you can see what is in between 4 and 4 what you are supposed to do suppose there were different numbers you are going to say the median which is m is equal to 4 you add 4 plus 4 then you divide it by 2 then it will be m in this case it is still going to give us 4 another um, uh, what you call this another uh, letter to use for the median is called q2 so q2 is equal to 4 in this case you see that so that's how you can simplify find the median or what you can do you can use the formula version which uh, does not in a way rely on the trial or this kind of a scenario because sometimes you find that you've got a large number of, 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 of data more than 100 you can be counting 1 and 1 2 and 2 you can rely on a formula so how does the formula work the formula says when you're finding the median you're going to say 1 over 2 which is half and then n plus 1 what is n n is the total number of the what of uh, whatever you're given if these were marks is the total how many marks are they the total number of marks if these were shoe sizes the total number of shoe sizes for example here there are 16 numbers so n here represent 16 so you're going to say q2 is equal to 1 over 2 now n 
you have to count how many numbers you have so I say it's 16 you say plus 1 because the formula says 1 over 2 and plus 1 and then after that you can just use a calculator in this case it can simply give you the the answer so if I do that it will be 1 over 2 I think that guys bracket 16 plus 1 and equal to you press SD is 8,5 so now 8,5 now when you see 8,5 it mustn't confuse you the next thing you need to find to ask yourself is it says 8,5 then you put the TH the, it's 8,5 number 8,5 number meaning before 8,5 remember now if I'm saying when we're looking at the, the numbers the fifth the sixth the, uh, these are the numbers so if I say 8,5 it means it's between 8 and 9 if I say 8 plus 9 divided by 2 that is where I'll find 8,5 in the middle between 8 and 9 that's why it's 8,5 see that so which means the number lies just there between 4 and 4 so in other ways when it says 8,5 you are going to look at the number there are two of them which is number eight because it's the eight is there and then if you round it off you get nine eight and ninth numbers so you go to eighth which is number four and the ninth which is number four if like that remember what you do you're going to add them divide by two so that's the what the median when you're using the formula and i hope you guys uh, did master that so I'm going to erase here to say I've got my median no problem my median of Q2 is equal to 4 I'm just gonna write it somewhere here to say because I'm going to need that so let me write it here to say Q2 is equal to 4 now the next part is the lower quartile now the lower quartile is given as Q1 now remember we were here to say at this stage that was where we found um, Q2. Now the question is, what is Q1, the lower quarter, the lower quarter? So the lower quarter, LQ or Q1 here, how do you find it? You cut this data here because that's where you cut it. And then you're going to focus on this side. And you do the same thing we did with the data to say, how many do you have? You have got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's up to you how you wanna go to say you scratch here, you scratch there. You're finding you're finding the middle number, the median of this of this lower quarter. You scratch there, you scratch there, you scratch there. You are also left with two numbers. You see, so which means Q1 is equal to two plus three over 2 so q1 is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5 over 2 which is 2 comma 5 do you see that it's in the middle there or you could have used the formula and uh, remember the formula what did you say you said when you're using the formula you're going to say q1 is equal to 1 over 2 n plus 1 which is equal to 1 over 2. Now the end part now, you see there are 8 numbers now. It's 8 plus 1, which is half of 9, and half of 9 is what? Is 4,5. So if it's 4,5 numbers, I must go 4, fourth number, because 4 is there, and fifth number, because if I round off 4,5, it becomes 5. So I must go to the fourth and the fifth numbers, which is these two numbers, the fourth and the fifth. You see that? And then I must add them, divide by 2. That's how you go about finding the what? The lower quartile. I hope you got it. This is the formula part. Now, I'm going to erase here because I need to find the other part. So the important thing is I got my answer and my Q one we say it is what is 2,5 now let's find q3 we're going to divide this here like this let's find q3 now for me to find q3 again look at the other side of the data you label it one two three four five six 
seven eight um it's up to you you can scratch but now let me just use the formula this is my upper quartile q3 it's called upper quartile here this is your q3 what do you say one over two n plus one seeing that which is equal to one over two now my n remember is eight numbers plus one which is nine and i'm still also getting a four comma five numbers so which means it's number four and five look at number four and five those are the two numbers which is what eight plus eight so it is q3 is eight plus eight i divide by two so which is equal to what eight some will say but why are you using these formulas um i prefer it that way it's also simpler but sometimes uh, some of the formula that they use which is still correct is this formula here to say one i mean upper quartile is three over four n plus one you'll still be correct using that lower quartile here is um the formula here will be q one will be one over four n plus one but now it will be the whole data from one to sixteen that's um i'm going to show you quickly how to do that but now let's look at q3 here for our q3 it is equal to what our q3 we said it is equal to eight so with that we are almost done the what the lower quartile the upper quartile the median so there are a few things then that we can do now to finish up that but now let me just show some of you guys who are saying what if i used these other formulas it's still going to be the same answer it depends uh, how you want to approach it but let's uh, label this data you say this is one let's come back again this is one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 remember these are the numbers now if you used q1 to say 1 over 4 you see that n plus 1 now we are using 16 is your n the moment you use 4 meaning you are dividing by 4 you are going to use 16 which is 1 over 4 16 plus 1 which is equal to and then at that stage if i can just use my calculator here so it will be um one over four uh 16 plus one and then it gives me what four comma two five so i'm going to have four comma two five and then i'm going to do also q3 which is equal to three over four um n plus one because it's the upper quartile is three you see which is equal to three over four uh 16 plus one it will also give me what if i use that so i've got the three over four and i've got 16 plus one and then it's going to give me 12 comma 75 so i've got 12 comma seven five remember these are the you put the th meaning you're looking at the top part so if i go to four comma two five i'll go to four one two three this is four now four comma two five is between two and three you see that because it's from four on your way to five so you're going to look at these numbers still you're going to add two plus three which is here you're going to say q1 is equal to 2 plus 3 over 2 which is equal to 2 comma 5 i think that the same answer that we got there what about q3 we are going to look at the 12 comma 7 5 number now 12 is here now if you're going to 12 comma 7 5 is between 12 and 13 you see we are looking at again 8 plus 8 which is what we got as 8 so it depends how you want to approach it but the answer will still maintain that now you have done this what is the next step finalizing now i'm ending up my lesson soon but look at this now you are able now to find the interquartile range now what is the i q r called is the interquartile range what do you how do you find it you find it by saying upper quartile which is q3 
minus lower quartile which is q1 so you just separate those two numbers which is 8 minus 2,5 and then it gives you the answer that's the interquartile range I see so it's just a matter of you separating that 8 minus 2,5 um, it gives us what 5,5 that's my what intercortal range what about my semi intercortal range now semi semi intercortal range is not difficult you take the intercortal range which is i q r you divide it by two meaning you need to find the upper take the upper quartile minus the lower quartile which is q1 which is uh, that particular answer you divide it by two so it depends you can check this answer simple divide by two or you can start from saying q3 minus q1 over two but we know that our intercortal range was five comma five over two and it will give us what when we divide that so it is five comma five divided by two and i'm getting two comma seven five and what is this? This is the intercortal range. So when you have done this, we are now able to do the final part now, the five number summary. So let's look again. Let me remove this and look at the five number summary. Now, what is the five number summary made up of? This five number summary is made up of number one, the minimum, minimum. Number two, the maximum number three it is made up of q1 number four it is made up of q3 number five it is made up of the median m or q2 see that so that is the five number summary so now if we were to draw the five number summary of this particular um okay this is the five number summary now if they say draw a box and whisker that's where you're drawing a five number summary of or representing this five number summary in a box and whisker so what you do is a, it's a matter of you looking at this data and saying okay if I want to draw this you need to have a number line and in your number line here you need to divide it to say from number 1 to 30 I can start from 0 and then move and uh, saying uh, maybe 5 okay maybe say 2 4 6 8 10 12 let me try to move in steps of two. This is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Let me see if ever it goes takes me that. So this was a zero. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So you end up there. So now with that, what, what do you do when you're given that? You now can come up with your five number summary. Uh, and draw that so the first thing is remember you look at the minimum what is your minimum it's one so one is somewhere here so go to the top and have your one there then you look at the maximum the maximum is 30 you go to the end and have your maximum so that's what you're having there the next one says look for q1 he said our q1 is 2,5 so you come here to say this is 2 the center is 3 so 2,5 is somewhere here so you'll have that let me actually use my straight lines like this I'll have that and then the next one is what is my Q3 Q3 is 8 so I go where there is 8 I got my Q3 and then the next one is uh, so this is that and this is that I've done now the next one is my Q2 and my Q2 is 4 which is here 
I seeing this then what do I do you join the queues together those queue and then in here you have that line and in here you have that line so at this stage you have managed to come with a five number summary and look how it looks like that five number summary this point is your mean that point okay here is my q1 here is my q2 here is my q3 and here is my max so this is the five number summary of this data we've drawn it as a box so the box is this one and the outside are the whiskers so this is the whisker part see and this is the box part the box and the whisker so guys as i said i was trying to lay a foundation now in the next lessons i'm looking at the actual question papers of how they bring these questions now continue watching this lesson to the next session where i'm doing part three and i'm bringing you the actual question papers from previous exams remember to subscribe and ensure to share this channel with your friends so that they can also benefit thank you